The WA-475-10 is the first model of a new family of Komatsu wheel loaders. Once again, Komatsu has made significant improvements to machine systems for improved safety, high productivity, efficiency, operator information, and convenience. Today we are going to take a detailed look at those enhancements on our Tier 4 Final WA-475-10 wheel loader. The cab is completely new on the WA-475-10. So let's get familiar with the machine controls. Starting with the seat adjustments to make sure the operator is comfortable, the height, fore and aft position, the seat cushion and backrest can be adjusted independently of each other. The air cushion adjustment switch is relocated to the right console. Before operation, make sure to fasten the seat belt. The right side armrest has a new design that includes fine and coarse adjustment positions. Over the operator's right shoulder is the heated seat switch. The steering wheel tilt and telescope controls are new. On the left is the telescope lock lever, while on the floor is the tilt lock release pedal. With this new pedal, the steering wheel can be fully stowed in the forward position. On the left side of the steering column is the directional lever, which needs to be in the neutral position for the engine to start. On the right side of the steering column is the lamp switch, which when rotated controls headlights, clearance lamps, and tail lights, as well as low beam, high beam operation. The same lever moved left or right controls left and right turn signals. Also located here is the windshield wiper and washer switch. The WA-475-10 will be offered with advanced joystick steering as an option. Let's take a look at the new dash panel. The heat AC vents are a new design with great adjustability. On the left side is the engine shutdown secondary switch. On the right side is the secondary steering switch when the option is installed and the hazard lamp switch. The main monitor panel is centered in the dash. It includes a 7-inch color screen and a round digital tachometer. We will share more details about the monitor in another lesson. Some controls have been relocated and ergonomically grouped on the right front cab post. Starting at the top, we have the rear view monitor that is now in line with the two exterior cab mirrors based on operator feedback. Just below are the heat AC controls, followed by a new switch panel. Included here, are the monitor brightness selector switch, rear window heater wire switch, which also activates the two heated exterior cab mirrors, front and rear working lamp switches, auto digging switch, traction control switch, boom positioner switch, directional selector enable switch, bucket positioner switch, and the electronically controlled suspension system switch. The right hand console is a completely new design and has five ways it can be adjusted for operator comfort. The console slides fore and aft. It also can be tilted up and down. The armrest raises and lowers, tilts and swings side to side. The machine comes standard with two electronic proportional control work equipment levers and can be ordered with an optional multifunction mono lever. Along the front edge of the console is the horn switch, the parking brake switch, the work equipment lock switch, and the optional quick coupler attachment switch. With the new feature, independent work equipment control the operator can achieve maximum hydraulic speed by fully stroking the work equipment levers with no need to press the accelerator. This simplifies truck and hopper loading operations. Possibly the biggest change in the cab is the addition of the command selector for controlling various monitor functions. This innovative device includes four switches and a multifunction knob. The four switches, starting at the top left, are the return switch, menu switch, shortcut one switch, and shortcut two switch. The command selector knob can be tilted right, tilted left, tilted forward, tilted rearward, rotated right, and rotated left. To trigger an enter or yes command, push straight down on the command selector. The two shortcut switches can be programmed for quick access to various functions in the monitor. Another new item on the right hand console is the travel speed control dial. This is used to set a maximum travel speed for the machine. Since the WA-475-10 has a HMT transmission, the numbering on the dial corresponds to virtual gears 1 through 4. Let's look at the right overhead console. Starting at the front, we see the multifunction radio with Bluetooth wireless technology, USB and auxiliary input. Next is the rear view monitor brightness adjustment switch, followed by the optional beacon switch. The last device is the electric mirror angle adjustment switch. This switch works similar to an automobile switch. The WA-475-10 cab has two room lamps in the ceiling. Each room lamp has a selector switch. 
At the right rear of the cab are the 12 volt power outlets, as well as the auxiliary input jack and a new USB port connected to the multifunction inputs of the radio. There are many new cab storage spaces on the WA475-10. On the right is the mobile phone holder, the magazine rack, and the operation and maintenance manual storage compartment. On the left is a cup holder and tray, as well as a new space for a medium-sized lunch cooler. Thank you for taking some time to learn about Komatsu's WA475-10 wheel loader. Please reach out to your local Komatsu distributor for more information on this exciting new model.